I speak in favor of this request. Anyone in the audience would like to speak in opposition to this request? There being none, I will now close the uh, public participation portion of this request and the discussion is open once the commissioners. I have a question. I'm to staff How to address or the motion, how to address the um the loading error? Will we recommend denial with a caveat or or what do we need to do? Um, wow. If you are comfortable with the changes like they've described, moving it further back in proximity to the dumpster area or between the dumpster and the building, and that the scissors lift be mostly below grade, I think you can use language like that. Yeah, it, it, it simply it, recommend approval of it, but with those conditions. The lift would be below grade, but the bolsters won't. And the bollards would the not. Bolsters won't, excuse me. And the handrail, safety rail around it, so it's still going to be a, a thumb sticking up out of the parking lot. Correct. Just not as opaque a thumb, perhaps. I think scooting it back near the dumpster area helps blend it into that part of the site a little better than having it sort of out in the open, like it's shown now. Mm -hmm. All right, any other discussion amongst the commissioners? I have a question. On the um, building modulation, there's a comment that um, staff is reserving its opinion for the west wall pending a review of the 3D drawing. Have y'all received that yet? We have not. Um, in trying to study these uh, elevation drawings, just about with a magnifying glass, with subtle differences in the lines, to really get a clearer picture of it, um, the 3D drawing would be helpful. The requirement is that if you have an offset along the long wall, it needs to be at least four feet in or out and at least 20 feet long. Um, toward the front of the building where you have the recessed corner entrance, there is what looks sort of like a porch feature there. And that is sort of an offset unto itself, but it's at one end of the building. If you look in the site plan back near the loading area door, which will be the southwest corner of the building, Maybe the applicants can answer this. I see a dashed line kind of coming through that. I don't know if that's a portion of the roof hanging out. But if it is, something like that would suffice. It actually creates another offset at the end of the building. And they're both more than 20 feet. And I think that helps along with you know, the window treatments and the awnings in the middle of the wall. I think, in our view, it sufficiently breaks up the building. The alternative is maybe to do something large in the middle and actually bring the building fictitiously out toward the parking a few feet. Mm -hmm. um, okay. 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 Piece of the roof that hangs out. Just, 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 the roof. Mm -hmm. just the roof line you're taking up there. Is that the entire building bump outside? It's just the overhead. Oh, okay, the roof. Okay. All right. All right. Is there any other discussion amongst the commissioners? <laughs> City Council and try to complete it. I mean, more power to you, but I'd, I'd go along if that's what they want to do. But I would just, I would just recommend it be moved along. I wouldn't uh, approve it nor disapprove it because there's just a lot here that we don't have, and I don't know how to word landscaping and the south end of the property and, and, and address some of those issues about the shopping carts and the lights and 
I'm kind of between and betwixt on exactly what to do with this. If they want to go and negotiate with the council, that's fine. And we can give them a tacit approval to move ahead, but I can't give a, an approval nor a denial of the project because, frankly, I haven't seen the project. Exactly. Okay. If there's no other discussion, I will entertain a motion from the commissioners. make a motion that we move this along and let the city council discuss it with a no vote of denial nor approval because we haven't seen the final product just to keep the project moving along staff i think i recommend that there be a motion for or against on the city council would like some input um just in response to those comments what you have in your packet, what was given out at the work session is 98% of everything. One thing that has changed since then is the site plan, a few minor changes, and staff's recommendation on the variances have changed. Um, the listing of variances has not. It's still the same variance request, except for one that is no longer needed. So there's not been a whole lot of change. The only thing that would have been helpful is to have 3D drawing to sort of see the whole building. Um, all we have is the flat elevation drawings and interpretation of vertical lines, trying to determine if it's a, an expansion joint or an offset in the building, things of that nature. Um, those are the details. But I think we've gotten some explanation about those tonight from Apple. Well, does someone know how to word the screening along the south end of the property and the other one that was mentioned about landscaping is i, I didn't write down the proper verbiage for that will someone have a suggestion for the screening of the south wall for landscaping just the landscape plan shall incorporate evergreen trees to obscure the visibility of the south wall and i think that would be sufficient for this arborist incorporate as part of the review of the landscape plan. It's not a very large wall, so it would not be that many trees if they're large trees. Mm -hmm. the arborists can best determine as the review of the landscape plan, the size, location, and spacing of these trees. If they're smaller trees, you would need more of them. It's sufficient landscaping to shield, sufficient landscaping to shield the mechanical equipment. Good. <laughs> put, put that in the motion. That would be. <laughs> And what about anything changing? As far as the scissors slip, you can make as a condition of approval that it be relocated farther to the south, an area between the dumpster and the building. In the less conspicuous place. Area. And it be mostly below grade, with the exception of the bollards. requesting a variance for signage. And that, that, is, that is allowable as, as it, is. it has to be a monument sign, no more than 10 feet high, 50 square feet in area, I believe is the maximum. So it would be similar to what they have across the street? Um, I don't think there's any, there you know, are, what they have across the street, I think is a regular yeah. old pole yeah. sign. Yeah. This has to be more like the sign that's in front of the harvest. Uh, okay. Monument, monument. monument sign. Mm -hmm. I'd like to we go ahead, I'll make a recommendation that we approve the number on the list of lots. Got me confused here. Uh HA twenty thirteen dash O two with the following conditions of, of proper screening of the south wall of the equipment that sits there. For, and also visit the lift situation and get it somewhere where it's not 
it's conspicuous, tuck it in behind the building or over by the dumpster. Uh, I know it's going to make it a little bit more difficult to unload the trucks, but uh, we just need to look at the aesthetics of it. I think that will, that will help that. So I do make the approved, uh, recommendation, recommendation that we approve the change. Now we have a motion by Mr. Hall. Second that. A second by Mr. Riker. Is there any discussion on this motion? There being none, all in favor, please indicate by raising your hand. The motion passes unanimously. That was the uh, 